Hello everybody. Welcome to the slower version of News Roundup number 217. Ponies are definitely top dogs on the Scottish island of Oula. The Independent reports that there are 50 Shetland ponies to every one person on Pula, which lies off the northeastern coast of Scotland. Pula, which has only 38 human inhabitants, is where the Shetland breed originates from, and the ponies are said to have lived there since the Bronze Age. There are lots of humans in London, says the Guardian. The city's population grew at twice the rate of the UK as a whole between 2011 and 2015 and could reach almost 10 million by the middle of the next decade. Figures released by the Office for National Statistics revealed that in mid-2011 London's population stood at 8.2 million and in over four years it has increased by 469,000 to just under 8.7 million. How about this for a Christmas present with a difference? The Daily Mail tells us that a rocking horse containing 82,000 Swarovski crystals is to go on sale for £98,400. Called Crystal, the toy has been made by Kent-based specialist rocking horse makers, the Stevenson brothers, who have produced rocking horses for a host of celebrity and royal clients, including Madonna, Sir Paul McCartney, and Prince George. Mark Stevenson said, When light shines on the horse, it's like the most awesome glitter ball ever. We used 82,000 crystals on the rocking horse and they will stay on forever. The Daily Mail says that a new 50 pence coin unveiled by the Royal Mint marks the 950th anniversary of the Battle of Hastings. Over the next few weeks, five million of the coins will come into circulation. Andrew Mills, Director of Circulating Coin at the Royal Mint, said 1066 is arguably one of the most famous dates in English history. Exeter in Devon 
is to offer the countries first city-wide electric bike scheme according to the BBC. Mark Hodgson, Managing Director of CoBikes said, After years of planning, we are very excited to be launching CoBikes in Exeter. The CoBikes electric bikes are affordable and easy as well as being great fun to ride. If you thought that the likes of Plato and Confucius would be favourites to be named Britain's favourite philosopher, you'd be wrong. That accolade has gone to Winnie the Pooh, reports the Daily Star. In a survey carried out by Fly Research to mark Pooh Bear's 90th anniversary, a quarter of those quizzed plumped for Winnie. Dr. Catherine McCall from the Philosophy Foundation said Winnie the Pooh may never have had a university degree or even gone to school, but his words, experiences and adventures have stood the test of time. The survey also revealed that the favourite Pooh saying was a little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. I hope you agree with that and I hope you enjoyed this session. So take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.